about this old Grandpa Cotton. I got my little grandson, Weston Head. He is known as Chef Weston. He's, he's, and look, he's had a million views on a few of his videos, so he's pretty famous. How old are you, little buddy? Seven. Seven years old, and he got famous right here on Grandpa Cotton's Facebook page. I tell you what, what we're doing today? We're, we're making, um, apple pie bombs. Very well. Apple pie bombs, and this is going to be one of the recipes in our dessert and my cookbook, finger licking, <laughs> finger licking <laughs> fixings. Boy, that's a word for And hey, I tell you what, it'll be coming out, and you know, in about the middle of the summer, and uh, we got a lot of good family recipes in there, a lot of southern cooking. So if y'all looking for a good cookbook to buy, you ladies out there and gentlemen like to cook, you know, hey, we've won some awards for some of our dishes and meals, so I mean, hey, it's good to go. But what we're cooking today is apple pie bombs. You need a can of biscuits, any kind of biscuits you want. I like Pillsbury Butter Me Not biscuits. That's the ones I like. You're going to need a can of apples or you can make your own apples. Now, this is cinnamon apples. That is homemade right out of the pot. We already made it. You got it sitting here waiting on us. And it's easy to do. I mean, hey, all you got to do is cut your apples up and cook them. And them are good old green apples. Now, you're going to need some caramel. And that right there is homemade caramel. I'm going to tell you what's homemade about it. That is condensed milk, y'all. You take a can of condensed milk, you put it in an instant pot, or you put it in a pot of boiling water on your stove. You got to boil it for about 45 minutes. Cut your stove off, let it sit in there for about another 15 minutes, and pull it out and let it cool down on the, on the counter before you open it. So when you take a can of condensed milk and you boil it, it turns into great caramel. And I mean, that is about the best you can get right there. Now we do have other ways to make caramel uh, to go in these. You can buy the little caramel chunks and you can put one of them in there on top of your apples and that's fine to do. Or you can make it with brown sugar, condensed milk and butter. I mean, it's the same thing. You're gonna need some cinnamon and sugar. If you don't have cinnamon and sugar mixed, you know, you just take regular old cinnamon and you mix it with white sugar. So I mean, or you can mix it with a little brown sugar in there too if you want to. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take these biscuits and we're going to roll them out flat and we're going to show you how to stuff that sucker and then we're going to fry them. Now we got a good video coming. Are you ready? Yep. What we're going to do first? So, you remember? So we're going to sprinkle them. The, well, sprinkle, do, do your thing. We're going to sprinkle some flour on, the, on, on, on the, All right, put it on it. Now what's that for? Why are we making a mess? Keep the, keep the dough from sticking to the board. That's one. Put us some, put us sprinkle some out on there. We can make a mess. Just sprinkle it all over the board. Come on, you can make a mess with it. This is your time to shine, boy. Hey, when a little boy can make a mess in the kitchen, that's good. All right, take your hand, smear it around a little bit. Smear it all over your board. Just kind of get your board all nasty and dirty. There you go. Just mix it up. There you got a boy. Now, take that flour on your hand and run it all over this thing. Here you go. Here. Roll, roll that, roll your hands all over the thing. Coat it good. All right. There's your rolling pin. Now, what I want you to do, look at it. Wait a minute. Okay. What I want you to do is flatten this thing out, okay? Okay. I want you to take that biscuit and make it real flat like a pancake. Okay. Ready? You, okay, let me show you. you grab a hold to it, put your, put your rolling pin on top of it, and kind of roll it back and forth. We're going to push down real hard and flatten it out. There you go. Keep pushing. Roll it on around. Let me see what you got now. Keep rolling. Keep going. You can do it. I hope put, put it up here a little further. All right, now roll it back to you some. All the way back. There you go. Come on. Roll it. Keep rolling. All right, boy. Now, you know what? We got nine more like that. Hang on. Let me get it off of that. All right, hang on. We're going to put it right here in this pan right here. Now, look. You got a flat biscuit. Just like that right there. And we can get it off of that without tearing it up, I see. Hang on, let's go to this side. There it is right there. We're gonna pull it off. You need to put you some more flour on your rolling pin. Roll your flour around a little better. So we won't throw it in some flour like that a little bit, keep it from sticking to everything. Put a little flour on that, hang on hurt a thing. So we want it rolled out good and flat like that there, y'all. You want pop all the hip? Let's let's go for it. Let me see. We'll get this thing done. Hang on, man. Ready? Let Pope hold a couple of them. Flour it up good. A little flour on your biscuit like that. 
And all you do is just take that puppy and roll it out just like that right there. Okay? You want to roll it out and make us a little pocket like this. Ready? I'm going to do this and look at it. We'll put, put it in a flower. Yeah. Roll it out. I tell you what, I love cooking with these grand youngins. I wish they'd all come over and work with me and cook with me. Because I have a good time when I come on back to the end of it. There you go, do the other end of it. See how you want to make it like that? There you go, now roll it back. Roll it back. All right, pull your pin off. There you go. We're going to put a little flour on it. We're going to stick that in over here. Now, we're going to put a little bit more flour on one more table in here, okay? Roll your pin in. You ready? There you go. We're going to put some flour on it. Go for it. I tell you, this is a good way to teach kids, y'all. I mean, look. Kids have got more they need to know nowadays. Roll it back over this end. Than just sitting in there watching TV, playing video games, or on the phone, or hanging out on the computer. All right, I got it. I'm going to tell you, they need to know all of life's old lessons. And us old folks, we ain't going to be here forever. Now, go do that in front of me. Because the old world, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to it, but they need to learn how to plant gardens. They need to learn how to fish. They need to learn how to hunt. They need to learn how to take care of themselves, just like this little fella right here. He loves to come over here and cook. He loves to have a good time with us. And we love him. And I got some bunch more grand youngins, and we have fun with them too a lot of times. You ready? Roll it out. You gotta hurry up, boy. We're making a movie here. Easy, easy. Roll back. There you go. That's good right there. All right, that'll work. Now let's get you another. We almost done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take you here. You go. We're gonna take these biscuits and we're gonna make a pouch out of them. So we're gonna add the the apple pie filling in it, and we're going to put a little bit of caramel in it, and then we're going to deep fry them. That's good. And after we deep fry these things, we're going to turn around and roll them in this cinnamon sugar, and we may even drizzle some more caramel over the top of them. And they're going to be good. They ain't going to go for it. What you think about all this, man? Huh? You do, boy, you just do good work. I need to keep you around all the time. Come on back. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, oh, that's good. That's good. We're making a little, little we'll deal. probably do the last two together. We got two more to go, y'all. Two more to go. Get on it, little buddy. Hurry up. Them folks ain't got all day to watch us. <laughs> easy. Put your pin back. Push that way. There you go. Keep rolling now. Push down on it. Y'all ever said a hard, harder working little fella? I tell you what, I think he deserves a prize, don't you? We're going to eat something here in a minute, ain't we? Mm -hmm. All right. We got one more to go, y'all, and we, then we're going to show you the magic. Go for it, little buddy. There you go. Get it, boy. I want a big one out of that one. That's going to be mine. I want a big old fat one. That's mine. That's yours. Roll back. Okay, that's it. All I'm right. Mine. We got them. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to fill them. You ready to fill them? Okay, how are we going to fill these things? Right, we're going to take these things. Oh, don't them look good right there? Look yep. at them apples. Don't them things look delicious? Yep. We're going to put some apples in there like that right there. Yeah, we're going to put drizzle some caramel oil in there like that right there. It don't matter if it's perfect or not, y'all. They do not have to be perfect. We're going to roll it and tuck it somehow or another. Bring it like a pouch. Yeah. Yep, we're going to bring it up there like a flower. And just kind of poke it together, just like that right there. Make sure it stays together, all right? Okay, we're going to get us another one now. You ready? Put, yep. put a little too much in that one. I, 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 I chop them I apples up. Hang on, let me see. Let's get it right here real quick. We're going to put some apples in there. And then drill some, some caramel in it right on top. We fold it over like that. We're going to bring it around and tuck it up into a little bowl, just like that right there. Okay? Mash it together good and flat. And when we deep fry these things, we're going to hope none of this stuff falls out right there. We'll put a, some filling in it, put some caramel in there. Well, look, you got to do better than that. Come on, we're we, we in a hurry here. Here we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, you got to, he, he's little, y'all, he's learning. My little buddy's learning. Rolling around like that. Just like that right there. <laughs> I'm sticking to my fingers for it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that. 
All right, so that's for another. <laughs> Big old hole out, bro. What you doing over there? What you doing? I ain't gonna put two apples in that one. Put some caramel over in there. Come on, drizzle it on there. Put it on there. Come on. Look, let me, hang on, let me hit That poor boy hit What do we do? We'll get it on our finger. <laughs> we lick on it. Hey, Momo should have got the giant biscuits. Here we go. Pull it together. Just like that right there. We're going to set that over there. Some of it, if they fall apart, that's all right. They're going to go in some hot grease and they ain't going to stay fell apart. Let me do it. What are we doing it quick? All right. Caramel. We got it down, son. Put a little in there. Just like that. Roll them up. Just like a little bucket. Look at that. When we put these in the grease, you know, they'll close up and stay together, hopefully. If they don't, then they don't. We got our grease in the pan. We got our cinnamon sugar over there, caramel, and we got our little balls there. So here we go, little buddy. You want your grease at about 325. That way it ain't too hot. Just slide them off in there like that. They should bubble. Don't them look good, boy? Yep. Yeah, but it looks good. I know I'm trying it first. Huh? I try it first. You try it first? Yep. Well, okay. I guess that'll work for me if it works for you, little buddy. Kind of throw a little grease up on it, right? Submerge. Help them purge up there, don't you? Yep. Right, here we go. We're going to put more in there. We're going to leave the rest of those for a few minutes. All right, y'all, that kind of start floating when they get done. What you're looking for is a crisp brown color. If they stay together, you can flip them over a little bit. But they have to stay together before you flip them. If they that open one. up, that's okay, too. If they open. That's all right. If they that open one's already brown. That one's already brown. Right. It's okay. Calm down, buddy. It's okay, we'll just keep putting a little grease on like that right there. That bag, that ain't got to be completely burning. All right. What we're going to do now, we're going to take these out like that. I'm going to drop it in here like that. And what you're going to do is kind of roll it around in the cinnamon. We got to kind of do it. We really need a lot more cinnamon in that, y'all. I'll tell you what, you really need about two cups full of cinnamon. something easy that you can cook on your own. Don't take long to cook them. I kind of overfill them, but hey, that's, that's just me. Sometimes I go to an extreme on the cook. But don't them look good cooking, y'all? Them things look scrumptious. You ought to smell them. They smell delicious. Put them up like that for just a few minutes and we're going to take them out and put them on the board a little bit. Okay, I need, I need to do that. I'm going to let them cook up for a hot minute. I need to put them in there. I need to put them in there. I need to put them in there. 
Oh no, apple is big. <laughs> Yeah, I need stuff. Huh? I need that. You're gonna have to wait. Just hang tight, little buddy. I'm gonna fight you. All right. You gonna help me with this thing? Apple! Come here. Help me out. You ready? Let's sprinkle some more on that floor. You gotta get it on that floor to grease dry. All right, just get them on that board of grease. We'll sprinkle them. Pack them in good. Yeah? That one's mine. Mm -hmm. That one's mine. Which one? You, oh, <laughs> you like a lot of cinnamon, do you, boy? Popo does, too. Don't, so don't take well, that You like one. a lot of cinnamon on Now, wait a minute. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different with these, then. Hey. We're gonna do a little something different. We got caramel left, look here. So we gonna take and just kind of get a little stiff here on me. We just gonna kind of add a little bit of caramel on there like that right there. Closest. We can't. When that stuff starts setting up, it's rough to put on them, y'all, but they gonna be pretty. But we only gonna do a couple of them. I'm gonna do these here for me. And then they can eat whatever they want. And that's them. You ready to try one? Mm -hmm. Huh? It's, it's that one. Which one are you ready to try? It's, my it's this one. Oh, let's find my knife. My big one. There's my knife. Let's that try it. We're going to try one of them since they. Oh, you want one with caramel on it? Let's cut it open. Like that right there. Ooh, don't Boy, you got a lot of caramel on that thing. You ready to try it? Yep. Huh? Hot. Ooh, Hot. Look at that. Careful. Come on, knock the board off. Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good, boy. Mmm. <laughs> that you good? What's that called? Um, apple pie bomb. Apple, apple pie bomb. Mm, ooh, that's good. Mmm. Hey, these are simple recipes for your grandchildren or your kids. It's fun to do, and they are absolutely to die for. Oh, hey. What you think? Good. Good? Did it deserve a thumbs up? All right, what we say? Take a kid fish and cook you some apple pie bombs, right? All right, tell them good night. Good night. Good night, America.